If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm going to be going over the top 10 players you should be powering up in Madden 21 Ultimate Team right now guys. Now the thing is, these are in no specific order, okay? Again, this is preference based on what you guys think based off what I tell you. Do not go ahead and only pick up the top guys I say. No order. Honestly, it would take a lot of time to order these because it's a lot of factors and variables that go into who's going to end up being the best power ups. I'm just giving you the guys that I genuinely think throughout the year, and this is my criteria, pretty much They'll be good today, they'll be good tomorrow, they'll get multiple upgrades, and these cards typically get very overpowered players. Like, you know those guys that every year in the beginning of the year you like, don't think too much about, but it feels like every time they get their first card, it's a mad scramble for them, and you can never afford their power up. So here's the thing, power them up now, get it done while they're cheap, and reap the benefits later. But let's get into the list, guys. Before we get into today's video, though, make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn that on to my boys, come join the family, give this video a big thumbs up, can we get 200 likes on this video, guys, that'd be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to sub, guys, we're like 70 subscribers away from 22,000, so make sure you hit that sub button, and let's see how quickly we can get to it. And also, guys, real quick, uh, the coin site that I am sponsored by, Mutt Reserve, is officially up. Check out the link down below in the description. My code was broken earlier, they did fix it, code Poodle. If you guys look at the power of these cards up, make sure you use code Poodle, much more efficient than going ahead and actually buying packs for these cards. Just buy the coins, save some money. But let's get into it. So first play on the list is Saquon Barkley coming at number 10. Now Saquon Barkley, 82 overall at first glance for all you non-football fans or just for you guys who don't really know too much or haven't played Madden long enough. Saquon Barkley, first off, his bad cards are good cards. You power this guy up, he's going to have an 85 speed, 86 excel, 87 agility, 86 change of direction, and 79 break tackle. Now at first glance, you might think that's okay. That's right up there with like McCaffrey and Henry just about for a lot cheaper. Saquon's going to have a great card day one. And, not to mention, his fir Saquon's first upgrade every year seems to be one of the best running backs in the game. If you guys do recall last year, I believe we did get a Mutt Hero Saquon Barkley. And that Mutt Hero Saquon Barkley was the best running back for at least a month um, by a decent margin. And he got some really good abilities. And he's typically, he's like a power slash elusive back. Now, in terms of chems, he will only get, I mean, abilities, he will only get elusive uh, abilities. But he does have that power feel to him as well. Guys, I highly recommend you pick up Saquon. Not too expensive. Only going to cost you about 22k plus the power up. Um, again, not bad at all in my personal opinion in terms of how much value he has. And then later in the year, he got his he got his card. Um, what was the other card he got? Oh, I'm forgetting right now. But he got he gets a lot of good cards, guys. All I got to say, you definitely want to go Saquon Barkley. Coming in at number four, nine is Jamal Adams. Now, Jamal Adams... Now on the Seattle Seahawks, guys, always one of the best cards to power for multiple reasons. First off, his card's always a lower overall that's super amazing and underrated, stat-wise. Second, he's a pro he's like a hybrid prototype type uh, safety, which means he can do pretty much everything, which is beautiful when you have him in a mutt ultimate team because you're able to put him at safety, linebacker, uh, down in the flats. You can literally do anything with him, and he's going to be good at it. Not to mention, guys, on the Seahawks this year, probably winning a lot more, and... Maybe get him some more attention for cards. And not to mention, guys, his next card always goes crazy. His team of the year card he usually gets goes crazy. He has an 85 speed, 84 excel, 84 play rec, 82 pursuit, 80 man, and 83 zone, 88 hit power. Guys, he's literally a freak. He's freaking amazing. You power him up, he's going to have an 89 hit power, an 84 zone, and an 86 speed. He's going to be one of the fastest safeties, one of the strong, hardest hitting safeties with a good zone. Not to mention, yes, some of the team builders may be better now, but Jamal Adams is going to be powered up all year. I'm telling you, Jamal Adams is super solid. Highly recommend you guys give him a look and power him up. Again, I don't know what the power prices cost, but again, if you need coins, let's go Poodle. And uh, power up typically is worth it. I know training is a bit expensive right now, but I'm, gonna drop, I'm dropping this video now for you guys to know how beneficial it can end up being. Next on the list is another guy that, guys, when he gets his first card, typically he's one of the best cards in the game as well. Let me find him. Denzel Ward. Now, guys, he's super cheap. Denzel Ward, sorry, I said that weird. 15,000 coins. If you start, Make sure to filter him out through the auction block. Probably find him a bit cheaper. Denzel Ward is super super solid now why is he solid his, his passing coverage stats aren't great but he's gonna have an 89 speed and an 89 excel day one for you guys it's gonna make him one of the fastest cornerbacks on the field and if you guys don't recall last year he got his first card around like halloween and that card went crazy he was one of the fastest cornerbacks in the game maybe the fastest cornerback at least that was usable great zone typically he's a great man corner like his stone's good but he's, a, he's more of a man corner he's gonna be a man press with great speed which kind of right now is the meta not to mention when you want to get these now, the reason I'm saying this because when it comes to time, right now you can get them for a few K, 
not even when it comes to time he his power was selling for 50k plus like you don't want to be wasting that kind of coin especially when you knew this before and that's why so i'm telling you guys this now next on the list a guy that typically i never buy his first card of because i always don't need him right now with the way the game plays but trust me guys this guy ends up going crazy and always ends up being probably the best like towards the end of the year he's one of the best receivers in madden and that's julio jones julio jones is always a mix of everything now the issue he has like a jalen ramsey issue the mix of being everything means he's not phenomenal at anything to start the year so like and let me, let me put that in, yes julio is the best receiver probably madden right now but let me put that into perspective he's not gonna burn everyone right now he's not gonna out catch everyone he's not gonna run the crispest routes what can he do he can do all of those things but like michael thomas is gonna run better routes than julio but he's not as fast to catch as well. Or he can catch just about the same. Tyree Kill. He's not going to outrun Tyree Kill. But he's going to run better routes and catch. But he's like he's like the jack of all trades. Now the beauty of like Jalen Ramsey and being the jack of all trades. Does mean that when he gets his next cards. He will be up there in speed. His catching will be up there in his route. Like everything just keeps moving up at once. And that's why as you get to like his 90 overall cards. He ends up being in crazy in comparison to what everyone else can do. Once speed's like all caught up. But right now. I personally won't probably use him right now, but I would recommend you power him up because when he does get his next card, whether it be a superstar card or a Halloween card or a Thanksgiving card, whatever it is, gonna be crazy in demand. And he's great at everything. He can literally do everything. And as he goes up, gonna keep being useful. Next on the list, people don't really give too much respect to the trenches sometimes. Guys, I love get I love my linemen. I think they're so beneficial to everything you do in this game. Trust me, it, nothing is more stressful than not having good linemen. Zach Martin. Now, why would you power up a lineman, right? There's plenty. But the thing is, I don't like to keep changing my lineman all year. More or less, they do similar stuff. You don't need the 89 one if you have an 88. Power up Black Martin, get an 89, wait for his next card, get him to 93, next card, not team of the year, 96. You end up having a lineman all year at right guard, lock it in. Now, of course, there'll be some legends that you may want to replace him with. You could always just knock him back one spot, leave him as a backup, or put him at the other side of the guard spot, like left guard, and just let him wait there. When he gets his next card, put him back up, sell the other guy. But Zach Martin all year is amazing. He can always do everything. He can pass block and run block, which is what I like about him. Not every lineman can dual do like dual dual things. Some of them are just really good at one thing. So Zach Martin's gonna be great all year. Power him up now. You're gonna pretty much have a max style lineman for a decent amount of time. Even after legends do drop. I don't know. I'm just really I like powering up Zach Martin. Like sure, surefire, I know will do will be upgraded all year lineman like that. I have no problem pulling the trigger on. And that's just my personal opinion. Next on the list. I highly recommend you guys power up Jalen Smith. Now, is it because he's going to be an all-year guy? He will be. But right now, he's one of the best cards to power up simply for this. You pay a small price to get him right now. You power him up. He has an 85 Rivals card. That gets powered up into that, too, that you get for free from the solos. You put it all together, you get an 86 middle linebacker for the price of an 81 uh, overall middle linebacker. And that's just my opinion right now. I think it's like it's just a great option to go ahead and do. And Jalen Smith typically gets some glitchy cards. Like, he would get a Blitz card, which typically gives him a great speed. He's always, he's always going to be a great user linebacker because he has high hit power, oh, good hit power, decent speed, and good height. He's always going to be a pretty good user, and he's going to be a pretty good in-game player as well. So I highly recommend you get him done just because right now is going to be the time to really take advantage of the extra overall increase you get out of him. The other players don't get, like if you upgrade Tremaine Edmonds, he doesn't have another card after that. So you're kind of stuck there, and then when he gets another card, you got to pay for it versus Jalen Smith having a free one. Next on the list coming in, I believe at number four, we got Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald, self-explanatory. Aaron Donald, I swear by this, is one of the only cards you can keep at that position all year and never have an issue. He always gets upgrades. Like he, he, he's pretty, he's typically pretty steady. His next card will be like a 92, 93 around Halloween. He may get one uh, team of the year, like a 96, 97, and then he'll get like a defensive play of the year or something. I'm telling you guys, he is pretty consistently just keeps up there, and he's always like ahead of people as it is. Like his team of the year last year was one of the best. He was like one of the best right ends even in like June still, four or five months later, which is pretty crazy. I don't know if that was a lack of EA content stuff or. Aaron Donald being that good, probably mixed. But yeah, power him up. Lock him in all year, guys. I promise you, like, I literally, one of the only guys you can lock in quite all, quite honestly, all year and never have a single doubt, never be like, the, the only time will be like when they drop that banger LTD legend, you're like, okay, he has plus one stats in Donald, but is it worth the price? No. And then before you know it, Donald has an upgrade and you're happy you never did it. Coming in at number three is a guy that, honestly, you don't use all year, but, you, but he's just so dominant and so effective that when you do use him, you're happy about it. Now, typically, I use Tyreek all year, but not as my main. The issue with this is this. Tyreek is probably used all the way up until right after, right after, like, March, February. And there's a reason for it. Not because he's not good anymore, but because typically, you get a Tyreek card for speed. So, from now until December, he destroys people. 
In January, he gets a Team of the Year card, and he destroys people. But then around March, with Sprinter and everything, everyone ends up being 99 speed. And that's when Tyreek Hill is less useful. You can use guys like Julio there that have 99 speed. So, but by March, a lot of people may have quit already. So, in my, and that's why I put Tyreek up here. You can't go wrong with a 91 speed powered up. And they gave him some decent route running and catching this year. Highly recommend you pick up a Tyreek Hill. And then finally, for the two final guys on the list. Now, Lamar Jackson coming in at number two. Again, rating doesn't mean anything. He is 55K. Has dropped in price quite a bit, which is upsetting because I have Lamar and I couldn't sell him because of I've been because I've been locked out, which kind of sucks. So I lost a lot of coins on Lamar Jackson. It really pisses me off. But Lamar Jackson right here. The thing with Lamar, he's always a quarterback all year because he's always gonna be the fast quarterback in Madden. The only guy who ever comes close is gonna be a Vic. But well, Vic only gets limited upgrades. He gets a legend, and then he gets a legend and an open legend. And he may, if we get lucky, get a mutt ten in between. Or he may get a Christmas card. But he doesn't get too many. Lamar has a chance for Team of the Weeks. Has a chance for more subtle upgrades. As well as he's a modern day player, which is always fun. And I think they even make him better than Vic now. It appears they give him better, uh, some better accuracy. They give him... The only thing he doesn't get is the throw power. That's where Vic always beats him. But I think Lamar is going to keep up the speed in terms of neck and neck with him. So that's why I, I really like Lamar. And he's just super fun to play with. And you get him for free this year. So why not go ahead and power him up? And then finally, for the final player in this list... Um, Coming in at the last spot here, which is number one, is Patrick Mahomes. Another quarterback all year. Great to use. That is super cheap for Patrick Mahomes. The prices drop day one of the game. That's kind of weird. But Mahomes, great value to power up as well because he gets that throw power. He's going to be one of the hardest throwers in the game all year. Him and Josh Allen are two of the uh, guys, but no one's going to compare to that throw power plus accuracy uh, and mobile mix because this is the thing with Mahomes. Right now, this first card is just a great passer. I like his second card. If he gets just one more card, like in the 90 overall range, his speed gets up to like a 77, 78. Then that card, if it doesn't get escape artist, if it doesn't get up there, the next card will. And that card is going to be the one where he gets escape artist. He gets that. He gets all the abilities he needs. His dashing dead eye. He's super accurate. And his arm's amazing. That's when Mahomes gets amazing. And that is when, at that point, he's too expensive to go ahead and power up because his card go for a lot. All his older cards, like his base lead skyrockets in price and the power up skyrockets in price so i highly recommend you guys get that all done now but guys that pretty much clears the list hopefully this didn't take too long top 10 players power up so to go over the list again we got saquon we got jamal adams denzel ward julio jones zach martin jalen smith um aaron donald tyree kill patrick mahomes and lamar jackson hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button 70 away from 22k make sure to run it up to get 200 likes in this video and comment down below who you guys are powering up right now and if you need coins use code poodle link will be down below in the description i'm out see you guys later peace